you know, when I first started using Fluent CRM, I wasn't sure my way around the software and I wasn't sure what to set up first. So that made it quite difficult for me to understand the software itself. But once you get to know where to click and what to do, it is a very, very easy to use software. So what I'm going to do in today's video is to show you a workflow that makes using Fluent CRM easy and it will save you a lot of time. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Fluent CRM using my affiliate link, you get 20% off. All you have to do is use coupon code MAK20 and you get 20% off. And also you get my marketing automation mastery course absolutely free. Links to all of that video description below. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you the workflow. So when you first get started with Fluent CRM, what you want to make sure you do is to create tags and lists. If you don't do this, what you'll find is anything else that you may want to do later on, whether it's setting up automations or using conditional logic, all of that will not work because everything needs to be triggered by a tag. So creating your tags is very important. Now, the question is, how do we create these tags? And what's the thought process behind the tag? So this is what I'm going to explain now. So let's say you have a website and you want to build your mailing list. So this is where you can say, okay, what is my freebie? So perhaps maybe it's an ebook. So you want to make sure you tag anyone that downloads your ebook with the tag downloaded free ebook or something, you know, something along those lines. Don't worry, I will be showing you how to set all these things up in a moment, but we need to go through the theory first. Or let's say you have an e-commerce website, uh, but you want to tag someone who has bought a specific product. So you could say, okay, bought product A or bought product B, or you could say, okay, uh, abandon the cart. So all these are tags that you need to set up first before you can start using Fluent CRM. So let me just show you quickly on this diagram here. So on this diagram, you see that we have our first step here, creating tags and lists. So all your subscribers, all your imports, all your customers will have some sort of a tag. Now this will allow you to have the ability to send emails, also have automation funnels, smart links, and conditional logic. Now, let me show you how to set all this up in Fluent CRM. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to dive here onto Fluent CRM. So the first thing we need to do is to create our tags. So I'm going to come over here, click on tags. So my tag here is going to be for anyone that downloads my free ebook. So to create a tag, you just click on create tag. I can also have this as my subtitle and then I'm going to hit confirm. So that's how easy it is to set up our tag. So now let's talk about lists and why you need lists versus uh, tags. Okay, so lists. So think about it this way. If someone downloads, let's say your ebook, ideally you want to send them emails, uh, follow, follow up emails as time goes on. So let's say maybe someone bought a product Again, you may want to follow up with a sequence of emails. Maybe the email could be, hey, you know what? You downloaded this product. This is how you need to use it. Or uh, the next day you could say, okay, uh, this email is about this or the next email is about this and so on. So having a list will allow you even in the future to say, for example, you have a uh, promotion going on. Maybe it's Black Friday. So on Black Friday, you could say, hey, you know what? We have a 50% discount. This now goes to your lists, not the tag, okay? The tag makes the management easier with the automations and uh, all that stuff, but the list is primarily for sending emails. Okay, so now that we have out of the way, <laughs> let's dive in here. Okay, so our list here to create a list, you can just come over here to lists and we can just say, okay, let's call this subscribers. Or let's be more specific, I would say free ebook. Okay, so I'm gonna hit confirm. So what we've done now is we've created a tag and a list. So now the question is, how do we apply these to our subscribers? Okay, so back over here now, what I'm going to do is to go to my contacts. So I'm going to come over here. So there's a way of uh, adding this manually. So let me search here for my name. So it's uh, Mac. That should come up. And here we go. So I want to take this one here 
or my lone Mac, and I want to add another tag or even remove a tag. So first of all, I can just come over here, click on this plus button. So let's say uh, Mac downloaded a freebie or a free ebook. I can just add that. So now in my automations, I will have Mac added onto that. We can also come over here to the list and add Mr. Malone Mac to a list. And this could be the free ebook subscribers. Okay, fantastic. So now that we have this, this is manual. So ideally now you have to create a landing page where you're giving this free ebook away for free. So when they download it, then they get automatically added to a tag and also to a list. Now let's move on to the next part, which is how to set up all these automations. Okay, so the next step now is to head over here to say automations. So we want that when someone gets a tag, we automate that process. So I'm going to click here on create new automation and I'm going to say CRM tag applied. And my tag here is going to be downloaded free ebook. Okay, so I'm going to hit continue. So now I have to choose my tag. So my tag here is downloaded free ebook. Now, do you see that if we hadn't created the tag, then this automation process would be a bit tricky and a bit difficult to start because the logic is not really there in terms of the process of how to get all this working. Although we can add some of these tags after the fact. Okay, so back over here, that's my tag here. And I'm going to say save settings. So this is how our automation is going to get started. It's going to start when a tag is applied. So the, there on after, you can click on this plus button and say, okay, I want to send a custom email. You can give your email a title and so on. Or you can say, okay, you know what? I need to uh, add a condition. So you can say, oh, if they also have a specific tag, which is in this case, a customer or potential customer, then do something else or, and so on. So you can see here, all this logic is coming over here. So back over here, this is our automation funnels. And uh, I have an upcoming video dedicated to automation funnels. All right, so we've now covered automation funnels. Now let's take a look at smart links. So with smart links, let's say you want that when someone clicks a specific link, you can add a tag to them. So here's what we need to do. So I'm gonna come over here now to all pages. So I am going to choose the about us. So I'm just going to say view. So this is our about us. I'm going to copy that URL, come back over here, and then I am going to go to my settings. So next I'm going to come to smart links, create new smart link. So this one here is potential customer. And then this is my target URL. I'm going to paste it. And then here you can see it says apply tags when clicked. So when someone goes to this URL or when they click this URL, I want to apply a tag and the tag is going to be potential customer. You can also apply this to a list when clicked. So if I click on this drop down, you can see here we also have our lists. But my, on this case, I'm just going to leave this as a potential customer and pretty much that's all I need to do. So now I can say create a smart link. So this is the link that's going to be tracked. So if I copy this like that, and then I create an email or if I go to social media and paste that URL, if that person is a user on my website, they're going to have a tag added to them called potential customer. And that could also trigger an automation. Now there's also conditional logic, which allows us to show content based on the tag. So as you can see, tags are very, very important. Without the tag, it's very difficult for us to use Fluent CRM because everything is going to be tag based. So make sure you create your tags and you create your list. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. And if you have any topics that you want me to cover, please let me know. Comments below. Take care. See you soon.